Hello and welcome to Sheepdog Says, I'm Sheepdog and today I want to talk about the new Pokemon Quest feature that came out last night on Pokemon Go. Uh, I made a bit of a mistake in that everyone in the world seemed to be saying it was going to be 12 o'clock Pacific time, which is 8 o'clock here. I went into the town where I live with my son at 8 o'clock or 5 to 8. We sat around and then all that came up was a little uh, badge that said, uh, I'll just have a quick look what it says, something about... Um, Complete 10 field research tasks. And I thought, is that it? How do I get a research task in the first place? So I um, basically drove around town for an hour, hoping and hoping that we'd come across the, uh, the, the tasks and something would happen. And then at 9 o'clock on the dot, so 1 o'clock Pacific time, the quests came up. And they are really good. Um, I was so hyped. I went through this like roller coaster of up and down and, you know, being, being um, you know, really really impressed being really frustrated then learning the ropes and then being really impressed and then being really frustrated again um you basically have i'm going to hold my phone up and hope that you can see it my new phone there um it'll probably be back to front for you but the idea is you have special story mode and the current story is a mythical discovery and uh, basically there's there's eight parts to that mission there is also the field missions where every time you spin a poker stop, you get a specific goal from that. Now, I've learned in the past sort of overnight, I guess, that basically everyone gets the same task from a specific poker stop. And if you don't want to do it, you can just delete it and, do, and go to another poker stop and get that task. But you can't delete it and get a different task from the poker stop you're at. Everyone will get the same one. So when I took my son to it, we both got the same task and the same prize so the prizes are really cool it varies between like rare candy berries um it revives uh, to something good like a pokemon can come up um i've had a mankey for um oh, what was it i had to do a mission i think it was three great balls i just been spin and catch three times with a great ball and got a mankey uh, i had to do fight one gym battle and i got a bulbasaur uh, there was apparently one, I deleted it off mine, but it was, you, you either caught three um, Meowths or Skitties and you got a Growlithe. Uh, I saw catch three bug Pokemon and I got a uh, Pinsir. So there's good mileage there. For someone like my son who hasn't, um, he hasn't got a Primate, for example, if he knows that all he's got to do is every time he gets the mission that says three Great Balls, he gets a Mankey, then he's just got to keep deleting them until he finds them right now i've got three missions on the go i've got win two raids and that gives me a mystery pokemon i don't know what it is yet I've got catch three grass fire or ground type pokemon i'm interested to see what happens with that one like I, I, I need to look in advance i think my question there is if i catch three fire will the pokemon i get be fire in which case do i want to try and get like grass or ground and try and be a bit different um if something like that for example i don't think that would be linked to like the legendary birds but if it was then you know i'd want to dictate which one i got i wouldn't want it to be pot luck um i've also got one that says catch three pidgey or murkrow and i'll get 400 stardust i was going to do i might delete that one and i can't decide at the moment um 400 stardust isn't enough to really warrant going out of my way um on the way home i was getting my wife to spin stops while i was driving and she was reading them out she'd be like catch three pidgey and you get four times purple stuff and i'd just be like bin it get rid of it um because they're not good enough to to worry about the um <clears throat> the special missions are a little bit different a little you know that so they're basically um they're the same for everyone again but they're a bit harder so the first one was like spin 10 stops catch five pokemon trade them to the professor so that's nice and simple it doesn't have to be the same Pokemon. So if you happen to catch like a, a legendary in between, you don't have to send it to the, the professor. Um, I'm on the earn two candies while walking your buddy, hatch three eggs, and uh, there was a task that I completed. I, th I think it was 10 great throws in, uh, on there. Um, I got upset last night because I started reading the, the <clears throat> reveal of what the missions were because people abroad have obviously gone out and started grinding straight away. Uh, there are people out there already who have already got Mew. Um, some of those rumors were horrific there was a rumor that you had to do 20 excellent throws in a row to move from level five to level six um, there was a rumor that became true that you have to get you have to evolve a magic up which is basically 400 caddy so if you have a magic up right now that's nearly there don't evolve it until you're on that mission 
because I unfortunately only have 50 candy, so I've got to go and find 350 candy for Magikarp in the next like week uh, before I get to that mission. Um, I'm going to be really frustrated when I'm on that one, and that is literally all I need to do. <clears throat> there is one where you've got to go and find Ditto. Now, lots of people are worried about that, but really, you'd probably find them quite quickly if you if you just caught every Rattata, every Pidgey. You can't do it until you're on the mission, so don't start doing it now. But every Pidgey, every Rattata, every Bug, just try and catch it. it one of them will be a Ditto. That one won't take long to do. Um, I think the other ones are things like get the gold badge for the Kanto region, which I have because I've caught 149 of the of the Kanto region Pokemon out of 151. So, you know, that would be annoying if I wasn't in that position. Um, so I suppose it is swings and roundabouts. Most, most people either won't have a silver or a gold on that or won't have the 400 candy. Um, most people will have some kind of barrier. I'm in a position where if I hadn't have evolved my Gyarados a month ago, my second one, I'd have been laughing right now because I could have just blitzed right the way through. I think the penultimate mission is like do fifty, catch fifty Pokemon with a berry, um, like and a, and a Pokeball, obviously. Um, which again just doesn't sound too bad. That they all sound they all sound achievable. The only one that sounds like an issue is the Magic Up one, purely because I literally had the candy there a month ago. If that. Um, There'll be people out there who will have finally got, you know, that, that would have gra grinded for, f for two years now to get to this point, and they might have evolved theirs. Like, there'll be very few people, but there'll be people out there who just reached the, the Gyarados level the other day, and they're being told now. And I find that heartbreaking. I feel like it should just go, you've already got one, great, let's crack on. Um, but then equally, I get that they want to make it a long-term goal, and I guess once I've completed it and I've got Mew, I'll be like, okay, where's the next one? Um, it's interesting to look at it because I think I think this will be you know they can just use the exact same format for Cerebi, Celebi or whatever, you, whatever it's called I think it's Celebi um, they can use it for Jirachi they can use it for, for most of the leg uh, for the mythical Pokemon now and it's exactly what I wanted like I'm ve I'm extremely happy I'm just frustrated with myself for the Magikarp part this is exactly how I wanted it to be I if I mean I know there are people out there who saw the missions last night and pulled an all-nighter and they've woke, they've, you know, I've woke up this morning and they've already got Mew because they just wanted to. Um, I'm going to be a little bit more of a slow boil than that, but I'm excited to know that I can, if I come home from work you know, in a week's time and I'm thinking, right, I want to do it, I can just go out and do it. I've got a week off, so I can put lots of effort in now to try and do it. Um, there is also the bit at the top here, the um, research progress gives you a stamp a day. There was a lot of confusion around this. That is purely for these field ones. Oh, I've closed it. You do a field one, you get a stamp. At the end of the week, it tells you what you get. I get Stardust, a mystery item that looks like a berry to me, and a Pokemon appears. Now, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that Pokemon is... In an ideal world, in a, in a perfect scenario, it would be a Pokemon that you haven't seen, you haven't caught before. That would be that would be the setting I would want. I'd want like if there's a gap in the Pokedex, make this appear. Now I don't think that's a reasonable expectation. I imagine it'll be like <laughs> a reasonable expectation is I expect it to be like a legendary bird or something like that that I, that I already have, but my son doesn't have all of them. So it, there's potluck there, but if he got an Articuno, great. I'd rather get a Tauros, which is the American uh, regional, because that would fill a gap, and it would mean that I'd get Tauros and I'd get Mew, and then I'd be done for Gen 1, and I'd never have to look at another Gen 1 Pokemon, and I'd know for the first time in any game ever I've completed all 151, and that'd be great. At the moment, if I get Mew in the next month or so, I've still got to pay for a flight to America at some point in my near future, and that just seems frustrating because, yeah, in my heart of hearts, I know I'd just be going to, to get the uh, Tauros, and if I got over there and there was an event on and I couldn't catch one, then I'd probably just, yeah, I wouldn't be happy. Um, this all seems really cool, though. I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping that they'll add in regionals as potential grabs. Um, I don't think that'll mean the game will be flooded with them. It's still quite hard to get every single, you know, option um i'd be interested to see whether winning two raids has different 
outcome each time because at the moment it just says mystery Pokemon. But if that's all, I mean, earlier I did one and it was a ghastly and a friend of mine had said that that was the same for them when they did it. So they're pretty consistent. I just think for ones like that, it seems a bit more fair to, to mix it up a bit, surely. I don't want to be able to know, in, you know, in the back of my mind what each of them mean and delete them. And, you know, then it becomes a point of, uh, I'm just grinding through trying to find specific ones. If it, It's got to have a bit of randomness to it. Um, but if they announced right now that doing them meant you had a, a one in a thousand chance of getting a, a regional, then... I would probably spend the next week just grinding through them because that'd be that to me that'd be a great incentive to to just hammer it. Um, but anyway, no, it's a really cool feature. Um, I'm a little bit surprised. I've only done I've only done nine. I, if I'd have known I'd only done nine, I'd have I'd have done an extra one so that I had the badge. But nine out of ten done at the moment. Um, I'm guessing that that can't be counting the special ones as well then because I did a few last night. Um, it was quite funny once we got up and running we blitzed it for about half an hour um around the local area i didn't really understand it at that point as much um i, I came home and was sulking when i read the updates from the there's a, a bit on reddit if you've not been on there called the silf road and they have an awesome um community of people who hack the game and tell you all about it um i didn't mention as well i've got my mewtwo raid coming up i thought it was tomorrow and I planned to go to it at half one or one o'clock tomorrow in my back of my mind. I'd arrange it with my wife and everything. And then I happened to look at the pass and it's today. And I'm supposed to be going to visit my sister this morning. So fortunately for other reasons we've postponed. So, and it means that I can, um, I can go and do the raid. But I spent maybe an hour yesterday trying to figure out what the hell I was going to do. I'd, because I've just got the new phone, I was wiping my old phone, but trying to set it up so that it could use Pokemon Go with my login on it, and I could give the phone to somebody else, and it wouldn't be locked, it would be fully charged, and all of this, and setting it all up, I was going to meet him and drop the phone off with him, and he was going to go and do it, and then, as I say, circumstances changed, and oh, I get to go and do it now, so um, ideally, I would have liked to have done this video after I'd caught or failed, and let you know where I got on, but that'll have to wait till tomorrow I'm, I'm uh, trying to get it all sorted so that I can go to my sisters and everything in a couple of hours anyway that's me done thanks for watching very happy with the quests uh, let me know what you've had so far if you've done any missions and got any awesome Pokemon I mean if you've got a regional great if you've got anything legendary or cool great just yeah let me know what you're doing and uh, what your hopes are and if you know anything that I know or if I've said anything wrong because I've, I've kind of I've read so many notes about it overnight but there's a chance I misunderstood. I mean, I was debating it with my friends for ages about which ones meant what on, on the system. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll probably do a recap of what happened at my sister's and I've gone to my mother-in-law's for lunch and all of that. I bound to be some nonsense. But um, yeah, I'm just going to eat lots, drink lots and have lots of fun for 24 hours. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. I forget to say that. Cheers. Bye-bye.